a huge part of stopping the bullying is for the people um, that maybe have a little more assertion or maybe they have a little more confidence to stand up and stick up for the ones that don't and also by example by doing that those ones that maybe don't have that self-esteem or assertiveness will maybe gain some by seeing what it got this other person I kind of befriended a lot of kids that maybe were more challenged and I didn't like it very much if anybody was picking on anybody. Right, right. And there was an instance where there was a girl in our school, a sweetheart, that had um, water on her brain. And uh -huh. she was in a wheelchair and she had a little, um, some physical dysfunctions and all that. Yeah, yeah. Some kid was teasing her and picking on her and I kind of took him out in his chair and laid him out backwards ah. and uh, and another time was um, something that really is dear now to me because at my 20th class reunion the sweet giant of a guy that um, he was a real quiet kind of guy okay. and just sweet to everybody but because he was so meek and and quiet he got picked on a lot yeah we got to the career center and there was a bunch of kids from other schools that were picking on him and I kind of stepped in and got boisterous with him and took him by the arm and got him away from him. Yeah. And, uh, you know, after 20 years we went to our class reunion and he came to it because he wanted to thank me for that day. And awesome. I didn't really even remember it until he reminded me. So what you're saying is part of the solution is caring and stepping up. Right. I like that. Well, thank you for your time. We won't impose any longer, but thank you. And God bless you. We want more people to stand up like you. Now, you never had really got any negative backwash for standing up, did you? No. See? That's what we want kids to hear. No. All right. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you.